Hi, I'm Maya, and this is Pogo, and we're here for another episode of Journalism and the Media. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the ethics of journalism. Do journalists need to report and research within an ethical code? What kind of control should the government have on journalists? Today, we're going to answer these questions and more in our second video discussion of the media and journalists. One of the ways to look at ethics in light of journalism is to look at it in light of governmental control. Now here in the US we have our First Amendment rights. We have freedom of speech. Therefore little governmental control is on our right to report or write about specific stories. Although in times there are specific cases that are brought up to the courts complaining about specific things people wrote that may constitute a slander. However, here in the US in general we have freedom of speech and we are able to report and tell stories, give news that would be anti-government and it's legal. This is necessary for a healthy democracy. However, not every place has such benefits. Some would argue that actually it is not a benefit to have freedom of speech and that journalism and reporting and journalists must be controlled. We're going to take a look at a couple articles here that talk about the two different sides and then we'll come to a conclusion at the end. In many countries, such as Zimbabwe, the government imposes regulations, whether in true laws or just in practice, of what they allow journalists to say. In India, this is also becoming a huge problem. Journalism in India is like going to war, says senior scribes of Catch News. There is an increasing battle for Indian journalists to report on what they find to be the news or to give opinion pieces on the news that doesn't align with the government. And this is actually causing an increasing amount of danger for those types of journalists. India is now known as Asia's number one country for crime against journalists higher than Pakistan and Afghanistan. This is particularly both interesting and concerning for me. I have spent several months living in India as a local volunteer and I so enjoyed my time there and I made a lot of friendships. But it is concerning that the government is taking these steps to try to regulate journalism in a way to just promote their own self-interest. The Indian government has been a corrupt for a number of years and has been worked in a lot of different ways to just promote politicians. Sometimes journalists are bribed to write certain things in India or if they actually talk poorly about a politician there have been instances when the journalist was found dead several days later. This is very concerning for us as journalists, as people who are reporting the news, because there's always a concern something like this will happen in our country, even though we have First Amendment rights and there's freedom of speech. Not everyone is in agreement with me, however. Even newspapers don't agree that everyone should have free speech in journalism or in everyday language. When I was doing my research, I found a website called the Pakistan Observer. And talking about how journalists should report, uh, the article said, Journalists and editors must understand that just because someone says something outrageous, that does not make it news. 
Journalists have to examine the context in which it is said and the status and reputation of who is saying it. A rabble-rousing politician who is adept at manipulating an audience should not get media coverage just because they create a negative climate or make substantiated and controversial comments. Now, while I agree it's not always good to try to bring up and get people angry, I think it's important that comments made by politicians, people who are serving in the government, be made public. And while I agree with the author here, it's not always beneficial to rile people up with news, I think it is very important that politicians' statements on issues be made public. When we're working in a democracy, or any kind of government for that matter, we have a right to know what our leaders believe on certain issues, and we shouldn't have to be concerned about sharing things a politician said when they seem to go contrary to our own beliefs about how government should be run or even the ethical uh, choices of government. Thus, I really think it is more ethical to report on these sayings or these uh, talk about these rabble-raising politicians than to not. The people deserve to see that, that maybe this person doesn't deserve to be in power. Maybe that they should be impeached or maybe something should be done, maybe they shouldn't be voted into office next. I think it is much more ethical for journalists to report on this and to tell people what type of people are in office rather than to hide this news. I think it is much more unethical to hide this news or to have the government control it. I believe having a balanced approach to this is really ideal. Stephen J. A. Ward says, that journalists who add their own fierce opinions to political discourse have every right to do so. I agree to a point. I don't always think that it's good to have those opinions without sharing to the audience that they are opinions. We'll talk about that more in a second. But what I find to be the most ethical for journalists to do is actually follow the Ethical Journalism Network and follow these set standards of what I think and they think are good rules for journalism. This website, the Ethical Journalism Network, sets out five principles of journalism. The core principles of journalism that set out provide an excellent base for everyone who aspires to launch themselves um, into the public sphere to provide information. The first of these is truth and accuracy. Journalists cannot always guarantee truth, but getting the facts right is very important. The second of these is independence. Journalists must be independent voices. We should not act formally or informally on behalf of anyone, any third party that is asking you to work for them. For instance, working for the government as a journalist and being told what news to, stories to report. You should be independent. Three, fairness and impartiality. Um, most stories have at least two sides. Try to talk about both of those. A humanity. Journalists should do no harm. What we publish or broadcast may be hurtful, they say, but we should be aware of the impact on our um, people we're reporting on and the images of the lives of others. Finally, accountability. A sure sign of professionalism and responsible journalism is the ability to hold ourselves accountable. These five principles of journalism are really what should be the standards. Be committed to truth and accuracy, independence, fairness and impartiality, humanity and accountability. When we strive towards these goals, journalism is a much more pure ethical form. We should not be swayed by a third party to report news either for our own benefit or because we are being controlled by government. It is best for news to remain independent and for people to have freedom of speech. It is only ethical that we are able to report about our own government in a positive or a negative light. The ethics of journalism and government is a complicated topic. 
And this difficult topic applies to all types of media. It applies to traditional media, and it also applies to new media. In fact, new media actually makes it easier and easier for independent journalists or for online new media journalists to share information that is not controlled by the government. And the new journalists have had a larger reach to be able to use this new platform. Therefore, this is a really beneficial step towards more freedom of speech for all countries, not just the U.S., where freedom of speech is a right. For other countries as well, the Internet provides a way for us to use new media and to share journalism in a new way that may not be possible under other current government regulations. New media actually helps us promote freedom of speech and is really important to the cultural progress of our journalism.